Welcome to Medium Rare, VR sculpting tips served up fast. Episode 11, that's too much skin. Today I'm going to show you how to add far too much detail to your medium sculpts. So this first technique actually just involves duplicating a detail that's already there. In this case it was the eyelid and all of these pieces are just repeats of the eyelid mushed around using the move tool. At this point it really helps to pay attention to the reference material that you have. You want to make sure that you're still conforming more or less to the underlying sculpt. The next technique involves using the inflate tool on deflate and with a tiny, tiny brush size and a fairly high strength. You'll want to try and draw these pores following the direction of the skin, which you can normally see in decent reference photographs. You'll need to play with the strength to get the exact effect that you want. Moving the light can help you better see surface detail. I call this next technique clay build up. It involves using the clay tool with a little tiny stamp that looks a bit like a bar of soap. You arrange the stamp using the thumbstick on your right hand and then placing it just at the end of the tool tip so that when you uh, paint it on it's just above the surface. You also set the clay tool to surface. This technique helps naturally break up the surface in a skin-like sort of way. At this point it really helps to pay attention to the reference material that you have. In this next technique, I actually use the clay tool to punch little tiny pores. Simple as that. You can place them individually using single if you really want, if you have the patience for it. You have to ensure you have enough resolution for this. Um, the size of your tool, the stamp, is dependent on the resolution of the actual model that you're working on at the time. I then knock back the effect using smooth with fill, it's a bit less destructive than average and on a really low strength setting. The next technique draws wrinkles directly and requires a high resolution to work. To add wrinkles, I use clay and I use the little tiny needle nose um, stamp, uh, again arranged using the thumbstick. I switch surface off for this, you want it to be on the end of the tooltip. You need to be very very gentle with this and I also switch off smooth stroke because I want it to be wrinkly. Again, we knock back the effect using smooth with fill. Here I just wanted to show you the clay build-up effect again. I think this bit actually looks a bit better. It makes more, more sense. And you can see me following the directionality of the skin much better. Again, adjusting the light just to see better what I've actually done, see if it's working. The final step is to merge everything together and wait and wait and wait. 
All that remains after that is a little bit of tidy up in the joins with a little bit of inflate, a little bit of clay build up, a little bit of smooth with fill, whatever it needs. And if you find this useful, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.